All right, add-ins. I've been exposed to quite a few young teenagers, 13, 14 years old, 12, 13, 14, 15 even, 16 even, who can't tell you what six needs to be 10 off the top of their heads quickly and easily without fooling around with their fingers. Why would you even want to know this? Well, let's just make change for 100 using our methodology. Um, we've built lots of nines and we've built lots of tens. So this is going to be easy and I'm just going to shoot from the hip here. It's always better to have a third person uh, or a second person, as the case may be, besides yourself who can't talk to me. Um, 37, 95, there's a good number out of the store. Or how about 62, 41. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do it completely different than the way they teach you in school. Make a nine. Make a nine. Make a nine. Oh, it's already a nine. Make a ten. Done. None of this borrowing, right? We just made nine, 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 ten. Nine, 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 ten. So if you know your add-ins, then this one's very easy too. And as you practice, you'll be able to do these as fast as I can write them down. And the kids always go, wow, that's so easy. Why don't they teach us this in school? Fair question. And one I don't have an answer for. Hmm, so, 37, 59, made a 9, made a 9, made a 9, made a 10. Not going left to right, going right to left, the way we read, and I can look at that and say, oh, 37, 59. Try it. This is why we build add-ins. Well, one of the reasons why we build add-ins. Let's try another pair. Again, just making change for 100. And of course we can make change for 50s and 20s, but let's make a change here. Let's see, let's make change for, let's make a change. Uh, how about 47? There's only so many of them, and you can only do and 29, 08. Hmm. Hmm. Make a 9. Make another 9. Make a 9. Oops. There you go. Make a 9. 52, 32. Done. Make a 9. Oh, it's already a 9. Oh, gee. How hard are these? Not hard at all. Correct. All right. This is why we spend time doing add-ins. One of the reasons why. Because when we do subtraction, we can do other kind of subtraction also. But then, let's do... Uh, how about the nines table? Kids seem to have trouble with this, and they use their fingers. There's cute tricks. I don't care how you do it. There's a hundred ways to memorize multiplication tables. Let's take... Just one, two, three, four. And we're talking about nines. Well, obviously one nine. There's two nines, that's 18. There's three nines, etc. Okay, well, let's see. One nine, that's easy, just nine. Two nines, one less than two. Two needs a 10. What does it need to be 10? Eight. I'm talking about nines. That's all we're doing. Not pretty, I know. Speed is what we need. Hmm. One less than three. Two. Three needs a seven to be ten. Oh, geez, this is easy. Uh, nine. No. One less than four is three. Four needs a six. Done. How is it possible that this could bring children to tears? I hate my nine steins table. I can't do it. Well, Crouton Ramon's house of math. We make it simple and easy. Seven nines. Oh, hmm. six, because that's one less than seven. And then seven needs three to be ten. Done. And of course, it's going to add up. You see that one and eight, that they add up. They don't add up. Whoops. What did I just do? That's a nine. Three and six is a nine. If they don't add up to nine, you, you made a mistake. Okay. Very simple. Very easy. Just a couple of the reasons why. We need to don't we need to know our add-ins, and we've got free software to help you practice building nines and tens. Free, it's free. Uh, go to the website and find out more. CroutonRamonsHouseOfMath.com.